the place, 624 3rd Street, Detroit, Michigan. The time, January 1st, 1949. The most familiar swatch of the American fabric and the perfect place to ask a surprisingly sinister question. What could have happened to the American wine industry if Prohibition had never taken place? We submit one example for your consideration, the e j Gallo Winery in Modesto, California, whose parent company thrived for 10 years before the curtain of Prohibition descended. It's a convenient mythology to think that the entire industry sprang to life in 1933. Point in fact, many wineries stayed active during Prohibition, making wine for church services. But be advised, sometimes what could have been is a Category 5 storm of vision, greed, and ruthlessness.